You are watching the Microsoft Excel 2007 uh, Beginners Overview or Tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will go through some of the basics of uh, Excel 2007. Just so you know, if you have Excel 2000 or 2003 or 2010, uh, it's essentially all the same stuff. So the, so the general message will be the same for all the different Excels. Um, this video is intended for someone that's somewhat familiar with computers but not familiar with Excel uh, or very slightly familiar with Excel. Uh, my goal here is to kind of help you understand what Excel is capable of, kind of what the purpose of it is of it, and um, I, hope I, I hope I can help you out. So essentially, Microsoft Excel is the world's most popular spreadsheet creation program. It's used uh, by individuals and businesses, uh, ranging from small businesses to enterprise level, um, to, to essentially gather data and put a large amount of data in one spot so you can very easily navigate through it. Um, for the next few minutes, I'm just going to show you a very simple business plan, or it's actually a lemonade stand <laughs> business plan on how to... Uh, just, uh, just how to use Excel uh, on a very, on a very high level. So with that, we'll get started. Um, you can see that my mouse is moving around here, and when I click on different boxes, uh, there's a large black border that shows up. These these boxes are called cells, appropriately for Excel, and and what they are is this 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 is where you enter your information. For Excel, I know when you first look at this program, it can be very intimidating. It can be a lot to look at, but hopefully, we'll be able to get through it. Um, just by the way, I want to invite you to pause it at any time and go back to your uh, go back to your Excel spreadsheet, and we can kind of do this together if you'd like. So let's click on um, column A1. You can see that we've got all the different columns here, which are designated by the letters, and all the different rows, which are designated by the numbers. So we'll click on A1. And we'll type in uh, my lemonade stand business plan. And we'll hit enter twice. And let's see what kind of lemonade are we selling. We're selling strawberry lemonade, uh, regular lemonade, and let's say cherry lemonade. And you can see that this column only comes out to here. So what we want to do is we want to hold down our mouse button on this right side of the A column and drag all the way to the outside of business plan and we'll let go and so now over here so we have our we have our rows our three different kinds of lemonade but now we want to do our um, you know we only sell lemonade in the summer months so we'll start with April and we could go through and enter you know May, June, July, August etc but Excel has a nice feature where if you click on this cell that has April in it you see how there's a little square here in the lower right corner of the highlighted cell if we click and hold the mouse down and drag to the right you'll see that we can get all the way to September just by dragging so that's kind of a nice feature is Excel has a lot of um, you know ease of use kind of functionality built into it so that you can do things like that um, you know if I were to type in the year 2001 there and drag to the right it would go 2002 2003 2004 etc so it, it makes it allows you to not have to do that so okay how much lemonade did we sell let's say we sold two hundred dollars in April of strawberry 250 in May 300 in June 350 in July let's go 315 in August and we really came down in September back to 200 now the main lemonade is our star of the show so we sold a lot of it but again it started to dwindle off towards the end at the end of summer and cherry lemonade was a bust we didn't sell much of that at all so we'll just enter our numbers here okay so what do we have we have all of our sales figures for all of our lemonades and so we want to enter in our totals now we could bust out our calculator and you know start punching numbers you know 200 plus 400 plus 100 equals whatever but instead Excel enables us to add these together on our own so if you highlight everything and click this button up here called auto sum you'll see that it populated this totals column with all of our um, sums essentially uh, so that's a nice feature that you'll probably use a lot of 
so okay, so what do we have? You, you might be thinking that, well, this doesn't really look like a business plan. This just looks like a bunch of numbers. So let's turn it into dollar signs. So let's highlight the entire uh, set of data here. And at the top here, on 2007, we have a dollar sign. On 2003, you'll have to uh, go to a different uh, format text field. But in 2007, you can just click this dollar sign, and you'll see that it changed everything to dollars. So now we have our total sales or our total revenue for all of our lemonade stand. Let's look at our expenses. We'll type in expenses and we'll type in, let's see, 500, uh, 400, 400, 300, 200, 300. So we've got our expenses. You'll notice that it automatically added the dollar sign. Again, you'll find that Excel really kind of helps you out with formatting and different things. It's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job. Um, so we'll click here and we will look at the important part, what is our profit. And so what we're going to do here is kind of the most complicated thing that we're going to do in this video, which is we're going to create what's called a formula. And a formula in Excel is just like a formula um, you know, in a fifth grade math class. You can do a, a formula as simple as uh, 1 plus 1 or 10 times 10 all the way up to complex statistics and things like that. But for this tutorial, we'll, we'll keep it simple. Um, every formula in Excel, with no exceptions, starts with an equal sign. And what that is, is it tells the program, I'm ready to enter something that you need to calculate. So what we want this to calculate is our profit from this lemonade sale in April. So we look at our total sales, and when we click this cell, after we hit the equals sign, you'll see the little cursor blink in here. When we hit this cell, it'll say B6. So you'll notice that it's column B and row 6. We'll hit our minus key on the keyboard, and then we'll click the 500, which is B8. And once we hit enter, we should come up with 700 minus 500, which is 200. And so it gives us 200. Um, again, we could, we could populate all these manually or pull out the calculator, but we can just do the same thing we did up with the months and drag that little box over. And it'll give us all of our totals. Now we want to know what our grand totals are. So what we'll do is again use that auto sum feature. So in the top left we'll click and hold and then drag all these over and then we'll just click auto sum. Oops. So we'll need to pull that over a little bit. So there you have it. You've got all of our uh, grand total profit from each style of lemonade um, you've got, well, total sales from each style, our total sales completely, um, our expenses, and then our profits. So we made uh, just under $2,400 selling lemonade this year, which is pretty good. Uh, so you can kind of see that Excel is a pretty powerful tool. I mean, obviously, you know, this is a fairly simple illustration, but it's a very powerful device to uh, develop a business plan, uh, put a lot of data in place, etc. Um, I invite you to look at some of my other videos where we go a little bit, you know, deeper down the rabbit hole, so to speak, and figure out what, you know, we kind of dig deep into what we can do in Excel. So thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful.